Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my hearth room. I have my trusty timer and I only have about 10 minutes until my daughter gets back from school. So we are going to put 10 minutes on the timer and do a quick 10 minute tiny tidy. So welcome to my hearth room. I got this idea to do a tiny tidy from my friend Sarah over at The Silver Lining, and she is part of a really cool collab with Sunday Dawn and The Helpful Home, so I'll link all that information below. But I just thought it is the first week of the month, it's time to do a little zone cleaning in my zone one, and for me, that's the front entrance. So without further ado, I'm just going to do a quick tidy here in my hearth room. So I'm gonna start out by picking up any of the pillows, the toss pillows and the um, blankets that have been kind of strewn about. I think there were some blanket fort building happening here not too long ago. So let's get those picked up. As you're watching, feel free to hop up and work on a little tidying of your own. I think it's so fun to imagine we're all working together alongside one another. And I'm really excited to be joining in the collaboration hosted by Sunday Dawn at The Helpful Home. So be sure to check out that playlist listed down below in the description where you can see each of us in the collaboration working on a little tiny tidy every Tuesday. We had a fun night of playing Uno, so now it's time to put away all the card playing supplies. I'm really excited to be part of this collaboration because I was looking for a little bit of motivation to keep up with my zone cleaning as we go into the summer months. So my videos each Tuesday will be focused on the zone for that week. And if you're not sure what zone cleaning is, I have a video linked in the description where I talk all about the Fly Lady zone cleaning system, as well as have a free printable. So if you wanna set up your own zone cleaning checklist, you can use my free printable. And it's a great system because you basically make it work for your home and your family life. It's very adaptable and flexible and you keep up with those deeper cleaning items every week and every month so you no longer have to do spring cleaning. So I'm all about doing little things every day to make life a little better and not feel like I have huge projects looming over me which is why I love the fly lady. Now, of course, I need to fold up all of the blankets because it is definitely not blanket weather anymore here in the Midwest where we live. We went right from spring into summer. So we have had temps in the high 90s and a heat index of up to 100 the other day. So we are definitely not needing quite so many blankets anymore. my husband's robe which my daughter has adopted as her own because it's the perfect size so I'm gonna go run and put that away put all the blankets down in storage for now until we need them for another blanket fort down the road
this blanket fort had been in existence since just after Christmas, and for quite a while I was okay with it being there. My daughter would play from time to time, and if we had a friend over, that was a fun little cozy space they could go play together. But as we got into the spring months, I was starting to feel like it's time to get this all cleaned up and put away. So it was nice to get in that corner and get all those little things pulled out. So now the toys have been put away and everything has found its new home again. And it also was a really good chance to just tidy up my hearth room in general, which is more of our formal and entertaining space or formal living space. So there is no television in this room. We simply use it for quiet games or reading or puzzles. And here we go. We have just a few minutes left. So if you are working alongside of me, it's time to wrap up your tidy project and put away those last couple of things and see what progress we've made. Okay, with that, I'm going to call it done. It's definitely looking a lot better here in our front room or our parlor. I have just a few minutes left, and so when my daughter gets home from school, we'll take a look at the little collection of toys and goodies that she had stashed in the corner. But for those few minutes, it was really productive to just get everything sort of gathered up. And what I wanna do later too, when she's home, is I'll grab the broom and just do a quick sweep in here but this was a very productive Tiny Tidy Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed my Tiny Tidy Tuesday in zone one, the front entry, the parlor, and the dining room for me. And hopefully that gave you some motivation to jump up and get a few minutes of tidying done in your zone one, wherever that is. So thanks for joining me today and have a great one. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. And until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.